Okay, here's the tutorial. Uh, so in a flight simulator, you need to use the new UI mode. Uh, it's uh, mapped to the right Alt key. So press the right Alt key down. And uh, when you're hovering on top of, of any uh, screens, you can then click it and then it pops out like that. Now you can move this window outside of the game to another display and um, you should do that and let's continue from here okay first you do need two displays but i don't think that's a problem for anyone and um, in addition just two pieces of uh, free software and that's about it uh, the first software being tight vnc server and the uh, second one being a viewer for your iPad or your any other, uh, maybe an Android tablet or over another PC or a phone or, or anything. Well, anyway, well, let me show you. Okay, uh, first we want to download Tight VNC server and it's this one. Let's open it. Next, yes, next, typical SAS, next, install. Then we need to set the passwords. I'm going to go with this like that. I'm not going to be using the administrative password, but you can if you want. Okay. Finish. Okay. Uh, now the service is installed and we could start connecting now but we need to make uh, just a few small changes changes to how, uh, how the tight vnc server works at this point you want to go to uh, your start menu start uh, typing tight v okay it's already there uh, so then you, then you want to uh, open the file location of one of these. Uh, let's open this one. I think that's the correct one. Open the file location. Okay, the next thing we want to do is let's copy this shortcut. Just so we can configure the installation. Let's go to properties and we want to say uh, at this target location we want to say control service and share display and then the display number you have your screens on so maybe it's number one maybe it's number two number three you are the only one who knows that but we want to limit the bandwidth uh, to just one display so we're gonna say display number two for me so control service share display two and let's rename it let's say only share display two okay Yes, administrative. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then when we click it, it doesn't show anything, but it configured the tight VNC uh, server just to share the display number two. Okay. Next, next thing. So you can find the tight VNC server icon here in the notification area and uh, the tooltip tells you the IP you need to uh, 
input in 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 the iPad. And but the configuration window opens from with right click and then configuration. Okay, so in the uh, tight VNC service configuration, uh, you want to maybe screen polling cycle, uh, change it to 500 milliseconds, up to you. But the most important thing is, in the administration tab, you want to select always treat connections as shared, add new clients and keep old connections. So this way we can, can uh, uh, connect as many I iPads or any other tab or any computer, anything actually, you can just connect as many as you need. Uh, so I don't know what I can't remember what's what is the default setting, but this is the one we want. Okay. So that should be it, I think. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, and now uh, for the iPad side of things. What you want to do is uh, you need to download the VNC viewer application. Um, just search it, VNC. And um, it's this free one. VNC viewer remote desktop thing. You want that one. Okay. You download it. Go ahead and open it. Yes, yes, yes. We know all of these things. Get started. Okay. Now, you uh, tap this plus button and then you just type the IP address from before. Let's just call it PC. Save it. Then we want to go to picture quality. Set it to medium or high if you want or low. It's up to you. I use medium. Uh, interaction we want to do view only and we don't need the update that desktop preview okay done now we just tap it yeah we don't care about that connect and uh, you type the password So, we want to remember it, that is the connection, and then you continue. Yeah, we skip it, we don't need the tutorial. Thank you. And there it is. Now, you might need to zoom it to fit perfectly, but if you have just one screen, it's that's that's it that there's nothing more to it so it's already working okay but if, uh, if you want two displays you can add it add it in in the game now you have two displays uh, if you want to display these on two different iPads, you just zoom, 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 zoom the thing so you can only see one of the displays. I like to do that so you can't see the white part, the title bar or something, whatever you call it. So there we have it. And then you on, on the other, another iPad, you could just do this, right? Pretty simple and free. Yeah, that's it.
nothing more to it.